Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to understand what is a form designer. We are going to see what are the uses of form designer, why we use form designer. We are also going to see the advantages of using a form designer. And at the last, we are going to see the demo of using a form designer. So let's start a video with what is a form designer. What is form designer? It's a drag and drop interface with the help of which we configure the form layout in ServiceNow. As you can see on the screen that we had opened the form designer for the incident table and we had opened the default view. So this is the form layout for the default view of incident. And we have already told that form designer is a drag and drop interface. So all you have to do is that just drag it and drop it on the form layout. And we can see that one field is being added to the form layout of incident. So that's how we use the form designer and we can rearrange this particular fields on the form layout of incident just by drag it and drop it. So we can see that we are rearranging the fields by drag and drop functionality. So this was a brief introduction to the form designer. Now let's see what we can do with the help of form designer in service now. With the help of form designer, we can configure the form layout as we have already known. But in addition to that, what we can do is that we can create a new view for a particular table. So this is the incident table for which the form designer is open. And right now what we are seeing the layout is for default view. So we can change the view from here and modify that. Suppose we want to modify the self-service view of incident. Just click on the self-service and you're going to see that the form layout for that particular view opens up and we can modify this particular view here okay and if you want to create a new view just scroll down and click on new and from here we can create our new view give the view name and just drag and drop the fields which has to be available on that particular new view for incident as we have mentioned that we can modify the existing view so if we have to modify the default view so we have to go back to the default view of the incident and the layout for the default view will open if you want to add some of the fields on the incident form then these are the available fields for the incident table we can just drag and drop it on the form layout and if you want that the active field available on the incident layout form then you can just drag the active field and drop it anywhere you want and save the form designer and this active field will be available on the incident form layout we can also modify the properties of the particular field so if you see there is a gear icon with the help of this what we can do is that we can edit the field active okay as the tooltip says we can modify the properties of the field with the help of using the gear icon Similarly, we can do it for other fields also like category. Just click on this gear icon. You will see the properties model box and change the property accordingly. We can rearrange the fields. If you want to rearrange the active field. So what you can do is that just grab it and drag it anywhere you want and drop it. Okay. Now this active field is being rearranged and that's how it's going to be shown on the incident form when we save the form designer. We can create new section in the form of a table. So if you want to create any new section in it, so what you have to do is that these are the available section which are already available in default view of incident. But if you want to make new section, just click on this plus icon, add a new section after section 8 which is the message displaying in the tooltip just click on it you can give the new section name from here you can select the layout for the new section whether it's two column or it will be one column in the two column you will get this two template boxes available like this in the one column you will give a single template box like this okay in this if you want to add some of the fields you can add it like if you want to add the approval field just drag it and drop it and you can see that our approval field is being added to the new section okay if you don't want you can also remove the 
sections from the form layout just click on this cross icon from here you can delete the whole section and that section will not be visible on the form once you save the form designer okay do the similar things with the fields just click on the cross icon and this field will be removed from the form layout of the table you can also rearrange the sections of the form just by grabbing the section okay and just reorder it drag it drop it wherever you want and we can see that our node section has been rearranged and once we save it this is going to be displayed like this on the incident form with the help of form designer we can also add formatters so these are the available formatters we have we can just drag and drop the formatters into one of the sections of the form okay right now you can see that we are using contextual search results formatter activities filtered formatter okay we can also create new fields with the help of form designer so if we click on field types tab then we are going to see all the fields which we can create in the incident table available here so if you want to create a field of like date and time just drag it and drop it in any particular sections of the form okay and when we see there is a field that is called new date if you want to configure the properties of it click on the gear icon and from here you can give the label name will be auto populated type is date if you want to make it mandatory or read only just check the check boxes of it okay so these are the uses or what we can do with the help of form designer in service now now let's see the demo how we can use the form designer in service now in the demo of form designer we are going to use the incident table we are going to create a new form layout for the incident form for creating a new form layout we have to create a new view and we are going to create a new view with the help of form designer after creating a new view we are going to add sections in it after creating the sections we are going to add fields in it we are going to save the form layout of the incident and once we save it we have successfully completed a demo of our form designer so let's begin the demo of form designer now the first question is how we can reach a form designer for a table so all you have to do is that open the form of that table what you can do is that we are, in our case we are using the incident table so we are going to click on all navigation menu and in the filter navigator we are going to type incident dot do now you can see on the screen that our incident form is loaded how we can reach the form designer of this particular view right now this is the default view for the incident form so we are going to right click on the header and we see the option configure and here we can see form design click on this it will open the form design for the instant table of the default view another way is that click on additional actions go to configure option and click on form design so if we click on it it's going to open the form designer in a new tab now we can see on the screen the form designer for the incident table is loaded and it is giving us the form layout of the default view for the incident table because when we had opened the form designer for the incident table that particular form was in default view and if we change the view of incident form and then open the form designer then it's going to open in that particular view now you can see on the screen we are seeing the form layout this is the form layout and we are seeing the fields tab and field types tab in the fields tab we are going to see all the fields that are available for the incident table which are not present on the form layout so these are the fields right now which are not available on the form layout in the default view and we have formatters also if we scroll down we are going to see the formatters so these are the formatters which are not available in the default view right now so this is the point to remember if you are searching your fields here suppose this is a long form 
and you want to search something like work notes and probably you don't know that a work note exists on the form layout or not so you try to find out work notes in this particular fields list and type work notes and you can see that this particular fields is not available here because this is already a part of form layout so we have to keep in mind if you are not able to find the fields in this particular list then it can happen that that particular field is available on the form layout already okay so this was the point to remember now the field types tab give us all the field types that we can create for the incident table we can create a choice field we can create a date field we can create a real time field okay we just have to drag and drop it on the form layout okay so these are the available field types for the incident table now for our demo we have to create a new view how we can create a new view click here scroll down and click on new we are going to give the name demo view you can give any name click ok as soon as we click ok we can see that the view that is selected right now is demo view and it is not being saved yet because we have not clicked the save button here and you can see that previously the default view form layout was opened so the form layout doesn't change it remains the same and we can configure it according to our requirements so we have to create new sections and we are going to add some fields in that particular section and we are going to remove these sections and we are going to keep the upper section only so just remove like related records this resolution information particular okay that's how you can remove the sections in the form designer and we are going to create a new section so click on this plus icon give the section name like demo section and if you want to change the column layout from two column to one column you can do it from here and now we are going to add fields in it like active actual end actual start okay business impact okay that's how you can add fields in the section of the form layout and if you want to reorder the section just grab it drag it and drop it now we can see that our demo section is presented here okay now if we save this particular form designer the demo view will be created and we can see it on our incident form so we are going to save this and if we click on undo it will undo all the changes that you have made okay now we are going to go back and this is the second point to remember that we cannot change the view of a table in the new record so right now this is the incident new record and if we click on additional actions we cannot see the view options available here so what we have to do is that we have to go back to the list of incidents we are going to type incident dot list it's going to open the list of incidents in list view interface now open any one of the incidents okay and now click on additional actions we will be able to see the view options available here and in the view options options we are going to see our newly created demo view so if we click on it okay now you can see that this particular form layout that has been configured here is available on the incident form we can see our demo section is available here okay now you must be thinking where sort description and description is coming so in the form designer if you don't provide the section name 
it's going to merge these two sections into one so in the third section we can see there is no section name available so what it does is that the fields which are available in that particular section like sort description description formatter contextual search results formatter these are all available inside the demo section so we can see okay sort description and description and this is the contextual search results formatter okay so that's how you can create a view in form designer and you can change the layout of a form using the form designer now we have closed the form designer and right now we can see that our instant form is open in a demo view now if we open the form designer it's going to be open in a demo view only so if we right click here and go to configure and click on form design now you can see that our form designer for the instant table is open in a demo view okay so this was the point that we are earlier notifying that whichever the view is selected the form designer is going to be opened in that particular view for that particular table okay now let's see what are the advantages of using a form designer now whatever activities that we have performed with the help of form designer we can perform with the help of form layout also right now on the screen you can see that the incident form is open in the demo view and all the activities that we have performed using form designer we can perform with the help of form layout so if we right click here and we go to configure we can see the option form layout so if we click on it it's going to open the form layout and here it says we are configuring the incident form so from here also we can see the sections available we can move the fields from available slash bucket to selected slash bucket okay we can create a new field all right but the thing is that it is not more visualizing the things means you have to visualize the form in your mind that how is the form is going to look okay so you can see like it's like serial number like number caller category subcategory and after that is going to use the split and after that is going to do this okay so if we open the default view so these are the fields which are available on default view and we cannot visualize how is the form is going to look after we click on save button okay then and then only we are going to know how the forms look but with the help of form designer we can see that how a form is going to look after we click on save button okay so this will be the form it's going to be looked like when we save that particular view for a particular table okay and we are not using any split and split we are just making new sections selecting the column layout drag and drop the fields creating a new fields just drag and drop and with the help of gear icon change the properties of the particular field or create a new field with the help of it okay form designer follow the approach of visivic it means what you see is what you get so whatever you're seeing in the form layout you're going to see in the incident form also okay so this was the advantage of using the form designer so this was the end of the video if you like this video do share the videos with others subscribe to the channel for more videos like this thank you for watching this video bye bye